Grant's Getaways is brought to you by Visit Tillamook Coast and KGW. If you want to find the fort in Fort Stevens State Park, come on in. Park Ranger John Cook says, step into the dark, take a stroll underground, and touch Oregon's military past on a free guided tour. This whole area probably covers an acre and a half oh my. underground. Battery Mischler is chilly, damp, and dimly lit. Built into the walls so that if the power ever went out, they could still run as an operational battery with backup power. It would actually reflect that light down a particular pathway that the soldiers needed to utilize to get back and forth and do their job. They had this so well planned out. Historian David Lindstrom says the Mischler battery was built in the 1890s to protect the mouth of the Columbia River. Some strategists said if they got to Portland, they had a straight shot to Seattle if they wanted to, and they could go south if they wanted to. It's kind of a, could be viewed as a hub by the enemy. Watch your head again, everything's very low. Now a lot of people will ask, well, were the soldiers a lot shorter back then? <laughs> no. <laughs> the ceiling up here gets a little lower, so watch your head. Oh my God. Look at this, huh? Holy smokes. So this is the gun pit. A century ago, Battery Michelers, two 10-inch guns were open to the sky. You're never gonna see this anywhere else in the United States. Yeah, it's only here in Oregon. Rare, never-before-seen film from the 1930s shows teams of men, 35 to each gun, during practice fire. The team worked efficiently as one unit. It was choreographed. You had to be at your station for this task at this time. Nobody else could be there except you. And all that was figured out, choreographed, and practiced. Well, the concussion was amazing. The mortar battery would go off the concussion would actually rip your pant leg. They didn't wear earplugs. You could just feel the pressure on your entire body. You can really get a feel for what the, the, the grit of it was as a soldier here, you know? Um, you, can't, you can't duplicate this anywhere else. You can only get it here at Fort Stevens. Fort Stevens was one of 24 U.S. coastal defense forts built in the late 1800s. Each was a significant statement to the world that the United States was a force to reckon with. They step over here after a nice long bike ride and uh, enjoy a little bit of history. So you're getting the best of everything that the state parks can offer. At Fort Stevens State Park with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW. And Grant has the details, the directions, and contact information on the Grant's Getaway page in the Lifestyle section. You'll find that on the KGW website. And be sure to watch Grant's Getaways. The half-hour show airs Saturday, tomorrow at 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock right here on KGW.